Hey, I'm, I'm Pastor Jim Rutledge, uh, Church Builders Tabernacle up here in Spartanburg, South Carolina. Uh, just want to share with you uh, the gospel, real simple, real simple. The gospel is other people. The gospel is you last, them first, and God says, I got you back. Really simple. When you got saved, you were rewired. You are no longer a taker. And if you continue to try to take or even protect your own life, it's going to make you miserable. Whenever you give something or help somebody, isn't there a surge of something going on inside you? Well, that's an anointing. Uh, that's just not the goosebumps. If you're saved and full of the Holy Spirit of God, that feeling you're getting is actually an anointing. It's telling you, go touch somebody else. What you see around you right now started in Gene and Mai's living room about 26 years ago. And somebody came in hungry. And we were just moved with compassion. And we gave them something. We felt that anointing. So we kept doing that. People kept coming. Fast forward 25, 26 years later, last year gave out over 3 million pounds of groceries to uh, 387,000 people. And I'm telling you, it's not out of my pocket. It's out of the desire of the Father and the anointing. So what I would tell you is if you want to find out who you are in Christ, you want to find out what your ministry is, touch somebody with love. Touch somebody with stuff that you have. Give something to somebody and then ask the Holy Spirit what's next. Uh, you might not do a food ministry like this. I never thought I would. But you can do something great. It's like free ministries. That's all Jimbo did down there in Green Sea. He just touched somebody. He, in, in a, in a uh, um, uh, unprofessional, uh, kind of a clays, uh, uh, lay, or not, not lazy, kind of a clumsy way, we touch people. Because the Bible says that we are clay vessels, but we've got this tremendous thing inside us called the presence of God. Amen? We, we've got this treasure, the Bible calls it, in these clay vessels. So when you're saying, how can I be used by God? Look at, look at what I am. I, let me give you a word, brothers and sisters. It's called contrast. You got a white sign? Do you put uh, uh, tan letters on it? No, you put black letters on a white sign. You're a clay vessel, and the goodness that comes out of you says Jesus. It's like the centurion at the cross. He looked up and he said, surely he was the Son of God. A centurion who was pledged to Caesar as his Lord, came to the conclusion because of the love of Jesus Christ displayed that he was the Son of God. And when you display unfettered love towards a person, the Bible says this, by the way, give to those who have no way of repaying you. That's important. This, this is not our investment. This is our duty. Amen? But the rewards is you find out who you are in Christ. You find out what God is making you to be, what he did before the foundations of the world. You get to be identified to you through Christ and that's exactly what Jimmy's doing down there that's the that's the the magic if you will to the rehabilitation to the people that everybody's saying oh these guys these guys are lost they're hopeless amen they're saying they're the problem well Jimmy's figured something out down there they're not the problem in Christ the solution so go for it give yourself away in the name of Jesus